Hi, Alex here from rebeloper.com and today we are going to talk about the general data protection regulation and the data protection officer. So without further ado, let's get to work. Okay, uh, if you are using Firebase, you are most probably uh, have got uh, this Firebase email about Firebase terms and assigning a DPO for your project. Now, DPO stands for Data Processing Officer. If you don't know what GDPR is, then go ahead and click on the link here or simply just uh, go uh, to Firebase uh, support, and just scroll down and select designate a data protection officer and EU representative because that is what Firebase asks you to do to designate a DPO for your company. Now, if you need a DPO or not for your company, that is still a question to answer and you can still dig uh, uh, deeper. Of course, this is not legal advice, so go ahead and uh, take it with a grain of salt and, uh, of course, uh, do your own research. Now, uh, what is a data protection officer? Now, a DPO is someone an organization designates to facilitate compliance with the provisions of GDPR. So, basically, it is an officer that uh, is responsible for uh, the GDPR uh, regulations. Uh, of course, if you are not compliant, you could get a 4% of annual revenue fine from GDPR. So better take that into consideration. Uh, of course, uh, I was talking about the fine, but there is still a soft launch for this regulation. That means that companies could get away for a while, but better be GDPR compliant. Uh, another thing, GDPR is for EU, uh, EU uh, residents. Well, if your users are from EU, uh, then uh, your company most probably needs to be GDPR compliant. Now, uh, what you need to do is take a look at the GDPR uh, uh, Act. And uh, it's here. I will link uh, uh, the. I will leave the links down below. So uh, this uh, is Article 24 is about the EU representative, and Article 37 is about the designation of the data protection officer. Now, uh, I would highly suggest that you read through them because uh, you need to take care of your legals uh, but there is uh, one broad uh, explanation on the word and it is entitled uh, no one is ready for GDPR and I believe most companies aren't just yet uh, what you should be aware of and uh, I uh, want to express this out in this video that uh, under GDPR, EU residents have the right to request access to review personal information gathered by their companies. So from now on, uh, companies can't just gather all of the information and uh, uh, see later on how to manage it or how to leverage it or how to make a profit out of it. Now, if a EU resident asks your company to uh, give them their data, you sh w should be, well, you have to be able to give those data uh, maybe through email or uh, even through, I believe, a disk or something like that. Uh, this is not legal advice, of course, but you need to be able to give that information. So, why is this a headache? That is because uh, when a user requests their data, you need to have the infrastructure to get that data. And uh, this is the most important part. You need to structure your Firebase database and of course storage uh, according to this new regulation. Um, and what that means is that you should be able to extract 
a user's data, maybe at the click of a button or um, nearly at the click of the button and uh, give that information to them. So if uh, I just go into my console, let's see coffee break example that I'm currently working on. And inside here in the database, uh, you should need, you should have a way to extract one particular user's uh, data. Okay, and that is uh, this here we have our email. And if let's say <laughs> dummy one uh, asks me uh, their data, I should be able to provide this uh, information that it has a name. And of course, uh, you should be able to alter, modify that information to the user's request. Okay, so you should be able to say Alex one and let's add here a one. So you should be able to do that upon request. And uh, you can, of course, give their profile image, uh, of course, the URL to a username and so on. All of the data that your app uh, holds on that user. So when constructing your database, make sure that you uh, think about uh, this request in advance. Okay, now where can you add your DPO, your designated the uh, data protection officer. Okay, uh, just go into settings and project select project settings and here you have a data privacy tab and just select enter contact info and add a full name, address, phone number and email. And if the EU representative is the same, just leave the check mark as it is. Now, uh, should you do it? Should you not do it? Well, uh, the GDPO states that this needs to be implemented where companies uh, are processing large data. Now, large data means a lot of things for a lot of people. If you are a small company with small gains, well, this shouldn't uh, be an issue, but once you add your data protection officer, then you are responsible for that, where well, your data protection officer is. As a rule of thumb, go ahead and uh, check out uh, your uh, legal um, advisor and he should or he or she should be able to give you more information about this. I just show you where you can add your input. Okay, uh, what else? Yeah, uh, again, and this is not legal advice, just, this is just my opinion and what I just uh, kind of uh, got about it. Go ahead and uh, read the GDPR articles if you are interested. And I recommend that you read the Verge's uh, post about this. Uh, it really goes into depth what you need to know basically about this GDPR. Okay, one last thing that the email talks about is that now you can set the data sharing settings for all of your apps all at once under the settings and I will just show you that too. Go to your analytics dashboard and just click on this analytics settings button and you can set, uh, uncheck or check these check marks um, and they will be from now on set on all of your Firebase apps. You don't have to go in one after the other uh, for the, uh, the app. Okay, now that is it for GDPR. Let me know down in the comments, what do you think of this new regulation? Are you going to uh, adopt and uh, do the necessary steps in Firebase? to be GDPR compliant. Will you add your DPO into Firebase's dashboard? Go ahead, give your comments down below in the comments. And if you uh, like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you already haven't done so. And as always, I will see you in the next one.